Hey, congratulations on insight to the both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let, let's start with this. Ken, where, where did you get the idea to write for uh, insight? Um, well, the idea actually was from a discussion with my sister. We used to live in Beijing and we were discussing about the unique just juxtaposition of the modern cityscape you see in Beijing and also the historical buildings that were there for hundreds, if not a thousand years. And we just came about this idea where it will be interesting if we can incorporate martial arts, mysticism, such as clairvoyance with a bit of sci-fi. And that's how it started. Now, for, for both of you, is, is, is this a family affair um, filmmaking to, uh, to basically do, do projects together? So our generation, yeah. not our parents. <laughs> <laughs> so Ken and I are pretty close like cause when we were younger we moved to Beijing um, from Indonesia and we didn't speak any Mandarin when we moved so uh, we got like really close we do a lot of things together and we both happen to do martial arts and then we just kind of decided oh you know it would be cool to have a career doing action film you know so then that's why uh, like for our first film we kind of wrote it, directed it, produced it like together. It was called, it's called Brush With Danger. And, um, you know, it, it did pretty well. And then we just kind of continue doing films. And we realized that uh, because we know each other so well, and we know our strengths and weaknesses that it's pretty efficient and great to work with each other. So we just kept making like more things together. And, um, and it's really great to just, you know, have someone like, um, direct together with me um because you know directing is it's pretty intense to direct like a film it's a lot of work and it's great to have ken because you know like i can bounce idea with him anytime and um we can like you know write script and then i'll read it and then he, you know he'll like he'll like write some more and then i can add to it and even for the directing the fight and everything um it's just like a lot better experience, I think, when I work with Ken. And, you know, yeah, that's why I just, we just keep making films together, keep doing projects together. <laughs> how, how does the directing process go with both of you? Do you take turns, you direct it together, or do you have like specific like scenes to direct for, for each other? So we, so Ken handled, um, a lot of the fight um, sequences and choreography, especially in the pre-production process, because he was uh, also acting in it. So it's a lot easier if he handled that part. And Ken is actually used to be a com competitive martial artist. So Ken did all those in the pre-production while I'm like, you know, producing and trying to get film permits and casting more people, that kind of stuff. And then on set, we both just kind of like always on set together. Um, but we kind of split the work more in the pre-production so it's quicker. Yeah, we discussed a lot before the day of the shoot. And when uh, I had a day where I had to um, act, it was easy because I was, uh, my, uh, Livy was able to direct and I was able to focus on, uh, on my role. Okay, could you talk about the uh organizing the fight choreography with uh, with everybody. I mean, that's a lot of people that you have to uh, deal with. It was actually a fun process because um, the, the way, uh, the, you know, stunt, stunt, stuntmen work is very, it's, it's very fun and very collaborative. We would just get together and we start bouncing ideas. And, you know, uh, the, the stunt team we had was great. We had a lot of uh, experts in different types of martial arts from Taekwondo to up in taxi lab to boxing to kickboxing and we were just able to morph um create this together it was a very collaborative process and um in the end i think what you see is is a little bit of each of the stunt team yeah i i think that's uh that that's pretty uh, um awesome because because we didn't notice a little bit of Indonesian style in there and all all these other uh, different fighting fighting styles uh, through through the movie. Um, Levy, what, was it hard not to uh, participate and act in it and and do uh, martial arts in the movie yourself? <laughs> um, so 
I generally only act if the role fits me. So, I mean, this one, I feel like, you know, it was, the story was like two brothers and I didn't want to change it to brother and sister just because I want to act, you know, because it's, it's not good for the film to do that. So, yeah, but uh, I definitely, you know, miss like doing the fight scenes and the stunts, you know. <laughs> uh, but that's always fun. But at least I get to be, you know, uh, a part of the choreography, part of filming it. And that's also fun, you know. Now, um, since uh, since both of you were, you know, from Indonesia and Beijing, why did you want to set this film in Los Angeles here in the United States? We've lived in the U.S. for quite a while. I, like, moved to the U.S. since 2007. So I've been here, like, 14, 14 years. That sounds like a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think like, uh, like Ken said earlier, like we wanted to mix, you know, like the, like the city yet, like, you know, like if you see in the opening of the film, there's like a, like an alley way, like in China. So I feel like LA offers a variety of location and it has a lot of different sets. You want a jail set, you can have like so many options. You want, you want just kind of like anything um, that you want. It's pretty much here. You want like you want to be in Syria? Just drive up thirty minutes north, and you're in Syria. You know, and I think that was like one of the reasons to why we shot it all in LA. Um, the other reason yeah. is because like sorry, we draw from our experiences, and um, uh, as you know, we started in Indonesia, and we had a, we had our career in Asia, but at the same time, we moved to Los Angeles and. A lot of the story, I think, drew from our life experiences because, you know, you write best when you draw from what you know. Now, because of the fact that you started your career in Indonesia, went, went to China, and now here in the United States, um, directing styles are different from all these three countries. What, what technically, technically is your type of directing style? Because I know, like, Chinese directing style, when they direct actors, they just basically tell them to do the scene you know, 30 different ways, you know, saying the same line. But of course, you know, in America, we just, we just go through, um, you know, ev everything. So what is your, your style of directing? So I think Ken and I, Ken and I are educated um, in the U.S. So I went to film school at USC. I did my master's there for film production and Ken went to University of Texas, Austin. So I think our style is, for directing is probably more, like the American style, but I think um, the way we shoot the action sequence is probably very highly um, influenced by the way like um, Asian like uh, martial art films are, I think. But like the way we approach like, you know, like um, scenes that's more like heavy on dialogue is that's probably like very like American style just because, um, um, of our education and then we also grew up with watching a lot of like American films as well wow yeah. hey Ken um, Madeline is not known to be a fighting expert on screen how did you train her well I think because you know actors especially American actors they have a degree of professionalism so even if they can't they would always ask for they always, they always know their weaknesses and they always try to say like, I'm gonna make this weakness not a weakness anymore. So during production, yeah, we rehearsed a lot with, um, um, with Madeline. And uh, yeah, I saw many days where she, she sweat and you know, practice rehearsed. And so during the day, it was perfect. <laughs> do, do you have weaknesses, Ken? Uh, I hope so, that's why I have a good director to cover up the weaknesses. <laughs> 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 so you know great all, all great actors and uh, martial artists uh, do sometimes get hurt uh, you know once in a while you know Jackie Chan gets hurt and um, well I never hear Jet Li gets hurt but uh, do how, how do you ever get hurt and do you do you or you're very very careful on set so for me like the most important thing is safety that's like a big thing on my set and you know, I always tell the stunt person, like, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, 
don't do it because when you're like not sure should i do it should i not should i do it should i that's when you get hurt and you know one time we were it's like a big um scene and the stunt person that we hired is su supposed to do like fighting and then they're supposed to jump off a building but the person is not comfortable jumping off a building and this is a stunt man right and he and then he told me like i kind of like don't want to jump you know like down i'm like okay that's fine don't worry about it we'll find so the stunt person have a stunt double and i'm totally okay with that like safety is number one and just be honest about it and we'll find a solution you know and i think there's no point like pushing them to do it or somebody getting hurt like yeah of course because it's a uh, you know like it's um martial arts like and action you know sometimes like somebody like accidentally kick your hand or kick your face or something like that i mean i've had like somebody like because we thought we were doing like a slow rehearsal and then the person thought we were doing a fight they get like punch my face i'm like uh <laughs> i'm sorry you leave me like that's why like i mean small accident like that happened but you know that's not like you know a life-threatening situation but anything that's like big we like just avoid it from the beginning you know and we always make everybody feel like comfortable to say okay i don't want to do this it's okay and we're not gonna like oh you know you don't want to do this fine like i'm gonna fire you or cut your side no it's fine like you know everybody like even if you're a good fighter it doesn't mean you can jump off a building you know so i totally understand that and i always make sure that the stunt people like know this and they don't have to do anything even the day off and like this guy like one time like for the jumping down he he was already like there about to jump on the camera is ready everything and he didn't feel comfortable like we're okay like don't worry about it you know take a break we'll figure something else out you know it's not worth someone's life you know to just like get a shot you know so yeah <laughs> and i used to i mean i used to fought uh, in boxing and kickboxing competitively for the indonesian national team so during those days i got punched for real Th those guys tried to murder me for real in the ring so doing action film like this pretending to get hurt was very easy <laughs> <laughs> then, then i'm curious uh, ken do you have a stunt person for yourself oh well so far um i did all my stunts but i'm not trying to be um foolish if i if i see something that i can't do i'm gonna you know walk back and let the let another person who can do it better do it. <laughs> but yeah. so far, I can manage everything. Like, you know, when they say uh, I had to jump from a high height, so, I felt so, I could do it. I really want to do it, so I did it. So, so what ended up being the most challenging thing for Insight for you, Ken? It was relearning re to react to a hit. Because in boxing, if you get hit, you don't want to go... You know, but then in a movie, you want to have a reaction. Oh, that's it. That's, that's actually uh, very fascinating. So for, for both of you in the future, do you still want to continue in this martial arts, uh, um, you know, type of films? Or do you want to branch out into something else? So we definitely oh, yeah. like always developing like something that's action related. But we both think that, you know, a good script is a good script. A good story is a good story. Like recently... Um, actually, a couple of years ago, we released a film that's totally like different than anything we've ever done. It's a, uh, it's called Bali Beats of Paradise. It will be online um, in the summer in June, and that's a documentary about Indonesian music. Hmm. You know, and everybody was like very surprised because this is like so different than anything I've done. And uh, yeah, so I think like when we have a good story, we we want to make it. We want to make a film out of it and. Of course, we will always love like action film, but if it's other genre, that's like not a problem for us. Well, that's excellent. Well, let, let me wrap it up with one more question because uh, I always ask uh, every, all my interview subjects is because right now we're living in crazy times. How are you two staying sane and creative during times like this? Who wants to start? So during the <laughs> pandemic, we finished um, a lot of the post production and pandemic so definitely like uh insight kept me pretty you know kept me going during these difficult times we also did a lot of like healthcare commercial um and we also did like shot like a few 
trailers for future project as well um, to channel our creativity, you know, and we, it was definitely like different shooting in the, during the pandemic, because we have to have everybody get tested, take the temperature, fill in paperwork, and we had to sanitize like everything. It takes probably additional like half day to a day of prep and wrap because before we shoot, we have to spray everything. That takes about two hours. Then we shoot. Then after the fact, we have to, we have so much equipment, it's a few hours worth of um, spraying things. Um, but you know, we we feel pretty lucky that we're still working and we can still do what we like to do, you know? And we're just like kind of, and you know, especially when we do commercial, like, you cannot like lower the quality of the commercial, but they only give you like a quarter of what your usual crew. So that could be a little challenging. So what we did instead is like, we have a crew prepped it the day before all the lighting and everything. And then the next day we can have a smaller crew. Um, it just kind of takes longer, you know, but you know, um, we're, you know, we're like figuring this out. And I think like now we have a, pretty good like system in place to be filming in the um during the pandemic and um yeah been interesting <laughs> <laughs> that's excellent i'm just going to assume that ken just working out like usual <laughs> <laughs> well you know a writer only needs a laptop and your fingers so it was it was easier for me <laughs> Excellent. Well, hey, once again, um, Ken Levy, hey, um, congratulations for insight. Uh, can't wait uh, for everyone to check check out this uh, martial arts uh, action film. Thank Thanks you for, for having us. us. Hey, thank you. Bye now. Bye.